The study of social networks has become especially relevant after the astounding popularity found by websites such as Facebook, MySpace, Last.fm, Orchid and Flickr. Visualization plays an important role in this study, with graph visualization playing a particularly important part. Social networks are in fact graphs, with nodes being people and edges their relationships to other people. In our work, we have developed a graph visualization technique that has proven itself quite useful for social network visualization. Our technique builds a basic graph layout using a variation on a classic physics-based algorithm. This approach treats the graph like a physical system, with nodes being brought closer together by the edges that link them. At the same time, every node exerts a repulsion force on all the other nodes to keep them from getting too close. This means that every time we move a node around, we can potentially alter the layout of the entire graph. Building on this physics metaphor, we provide the users with tools that allow them to interactively manipulate the graph layout into one that is more of their liking. These tools consist basically of magnets, which can be used to attract nodes and edges based on their topological and semantic properties. To ensure that a group of attracted nodes are kept within a certain region and that all other nodes are kept out, the user can create a boundary shape around the magnet. Once a magnet is created, the user must define a set of criteria of attraction to determine what nodes should be attracted. This criteria can be based either on the topology of the graph or on the properties of its nodes and edges. We now show the graph of the co-authorship network of all the works published in 2007 by the professors and students of the Informatics Institute of the Federal University of Rio Grande do Sul and their external collaborators. Nodes are the professors, students and external collaborators, while edges are the papers two people have in common. To illustrate our technique, we will show how it can be used to find all the students that have worked with two professors, Luciana Nedo and Carla Freitas. To answer this question, we can begin by creating a magnet that attracts all of Luciana's student collaborators, or, in other words, all nodes that are students and that have path length of 1 to Luciana. We now create a magnet for Carla's collaborators and set Luciana's magnet as its parent. This way, this magnet will only act on the nodes that were attracted by the other one. Now we have obtained all of their common student collaborators. But since these nodes are attracted by more than one magnet, the technique asks us if we want to leave them free or bind them to a certain magnet. When bound to a magnet, a node behaves as if attracted only by it, but its icon is changed and colored lines appear linking it to all the magnets that attract it. In our case, we will bind them to our second magnet. To make it clearer to see who are the two professors' common student collaborators, we will apply a boundary shape to this magnet. As we can see, in 2007 they had only one common student collaborator, Marta Becco Villamil. With this video, we hope to have provided an effective glimpse into our graph visualization technique and its application in social network visualization.